What's up? We have another Let's Build going on. I'm here, I'm back with my Starlight Building Let's Build number two. What's up? Hey, so sorry for the delay. Um, I had a, my father-in-law was in town, so I didn't have access to the office for a little bit. And then he traveled back home. And that's cool, you know, like having him visit. Um, but he left a while ago, and I've just been lazy. I'm not going to lie. I'll, like, start to build, and then I'll go and, like, kill things around the Commonwealth. Then I'll come back and build a little bit. So you're going to notice throughout this one that I've actually done quite a bit of uh, crap since the first Let's Build for this place. So really quick, I'm going to start by kind of going through the stuff that I've already rebuilt for Starlight. Um, we're going to go through... And I'll give you a little bit tour. So coming in, not much of a change. I'm definitely going to put the no Brahmin past this point. I'm going to make those signs look pretty awesome. I'm going to put the streamers all the way across there. Then coming in here, this is really, um, we'll go over here. So I've added, I've kind of built this place up a little bit. I've got these container stores that I'm going to do. I'm going to decorate this one. Uh, I've got this one in. Um, this is a pre-built and I got that up there and that's pretty cool that walkway so because I had to set this container so far back there I put this walkway up and I'm gonna put some stairs up so you can use that to access the other side of this um, I mean you can go through there but it's like super not lore friendly because I'm just walking through boards for half of it but so that the guards can easily access the other side um, and then coming back here, I got these little apartments built up a lot more um, from before. So these are all going to be like where the store owners live and conduct their daily lives through there. So it's pretty dope looking. I actually really like how that came together. Um, and then hustling on over here, we got um, a few more of the stores kind of built up a little bit. I'm starting to, if I scroll through my um, my workshop and I find something that I like, I'll go ahead and smack it in the store so we have kind of this, this little vibe going on here. So it's really starting to come together um, and I'm actually pretty happy about it. Um, how it looks so far, I'm going to put this somewhere I think maybe. But then I got back here starting to come together a little bit more. Um, one of the biggest additions from last time is this area. This is going to be, so that looks like a sign, which kind of bothers me. Maybe not. I might put the sign for like the city hall or whatever, but this is going to be like where the mayor um, and like his people live. I mean, you're going to come in here. You're going to have like a desk here for the secretary. And up here is really going to be like where they live and work. Um, two apartments on either side. And then down here is going to be maybe like offices and city planning. Um, so that's going to be over there. And that'll be pretty dope. But yeah, that's really what I've got done so far. So before I get into the Let's Build, I told you guys last time that I was going to start doing um, some console command videos. And I think what I'm going to do right now before I actually do, or in lieu of instead of doing console command videos, is I'm just going to integrate that into this let's build series for now um so i've left everything kind of you notice it's dark the weather's not clear obviously i'm getting rad so everything is basic right now and i'm going to go through and let you know how i go about setting up a build i'm gonna still do a console command video later because there's a few console commands that i think you guys you know that i think would be beneficial like some of them that teach you how to drop a workshop everywhere or increase your build limit for a settlement and stuff like that um, but right here, what I'm going to go over is my basic console commands to start building. So first thing I do is I hit the, t hit the tilde key. That's what the key above the tab and to the left of the one is called. You hit that, it brings up the command prompt down here. So in this command prompt, I'm going to first type in TGM. <coughs> excuse me, TGM, which is going to toggle God mode. God mode is exactly like it sounds. It is going to... Oh man, sorry. I got a frog in my throat. So, God mode is you cannot be killed. You have unlimited health, unlimited. I can't get any more rads. If you notice when I walk back over over um, the radiated pool, I don't get any more rads. Um, 
So that's what God Mode does. It also, for building, um, it gives you unlimited resources. You'll notice when you type in God Mode and you go into your workshop, um, all your resources are set at 999. So, <coughs> holy cow, excuse me. I apologize. Um, but that enables you to build whatever you want. Not exactly lore friendly. And Ranger Dave, um, if you would, I, I doubt he watches my videos. But if he ever saw me teach you guys that, uh, he would probably, he'd probably scoff a little bit. But, because he definitely, he collects all of his stuff. And he, that is insanely patient of him. And I'm nowhere near um, that patient. So, it's dope for him to do. But I use God Mode. So, TGM, God Mode, unlimited resources for building. Next thing I do, um, hit the tilde key and I set game hour two. 0900. And what that's going to do, hit the tilde key again. Boom, we have daylight. So it's going to set daylight. All right, the next thing you're going to do after that is set time scale to 1. So the normal time scale for um, Fallout is, I believe, 20 for Fallout 4. I think for New Vegas and some of the other ones, it was a time scale of 30. Time scale really affects what you are uh, well it affects everything it affects how the game runs so it's respawns it's weather patterns um and daylight how fast the day passes so setting it to one is really going to slow it down it's going to give you more daylight to build in so we set time scale to one the next thing we would do if it were um not a clear day we would type in f w space one five e enter and That'll give us a clear day. Um, but it was already a clear day, so we're good. So that's really how I go about setting up a build. Again, there's more stuff you can do, but that's that's really what I'm going to do. And I'll go into some more console commands later on as I use them. Um, I went into them last video, and I just want to maybe reiterate some things that I went over last time and then add some new concepts in for you guys. So what I just did was I held the V key so that we can pull up the workshop and hopefully the game doesn't crash. It didn't, so here we go. All right, really quick. Hopefully, um, if you guys are on console and you have place anywhere, I'm also going to explain um, what I do with what keys I'm hitting for place everywhere so that I can really hit both sides of the puzzle. Place everywhere is really... Um, it's probably a quintessential building. If you don't have anything else, get place everywhere um, with Fallout 4 Script Extender, and it's really just going to take your build to the next level. So I think for today's episode, um, we are going to go in, and I want to... I think I'm going to work on the outer walls. So you guys saw me working on a little bit of the stores last time. This time I'm going to work on the outer walls. It's going to be a little bit more traditional. Let's build. So we're going to take this wall and take it over to somewhere over here um, and we're gonna add in this up there we're, gonna, we're just gonna make it look awesome and then we're gonna explain what we're going to do with the scaffolding and these weaker exterior doors in the last video and we're gonna do that today so first things first I'm the realist second thing second we're gonna go down to our workshop we're gonna go and we're gonna find some junk walls. And I have no idea, I absolutely do not remember where these junk walls are. Actually, first we're gonna push F4. If you notice up here, object outline off. So what that's gonna do is when I select something, I can actually look at it instead of having it come up all green and you can really get a sense of what is going on with your um, with your build. So we're going in, open up fences and junk fence. So you have all these options to choose from. Um, what you're going to do is basically look at what you have um, so far and try to not put the same thing, the same things next to each other every time, right? So I'm going to go in. I'm going to choose that one's got the fence door. We will put. We'll put this bad boy in. It looks kind of like the one next to it, but we can we can kind of fix that one later because it's got the, a later video because it's got the pallets. So we're gonna put that in. I think Homemaker also has. 
structures. Let's see. Fences. Oh, the game has crashed. All right, well, we're back. Um, I figured a bunch of stuff out, got my game to stop freezing on me, and we're just gonna speed this part up like crazy so I can just show you building the wall a little bit, uh, talk through some of my thinking points, what I was thinking when I was building the wall. But as you can see, I really just wanted to put the wall in and get it in so I could get this video out like a normal person because I've made so many excuses for not putting the video out and now I just need to put the video out. So just going through, putting the wall in. Um, you'll see I'm just doing some fine adjustments with my place everywhere. I'm um, using the number pad to really get it tuned in, get it set in there. If you'll notice, I turned surface snap on and off a lot in this. And it's because the um, it snaps to the surface sometimes, and sometimes it snaps below to a subsurface. Don't know why it is. I could probably figure it out if I investigated a little bit, but I don't care. So turning surface snap on and off is really, it's really helpful. So you can line up the top how you want or line up everything a little bit better. So I played with the notion of where to put another door in, like another minor door into the settlement in here. And I don't think I ended up putting one in here. As you can see later on, we're going to go through a tour after this. I'm going to put it up by the screen a little bit more where my like troops will be, you know, garrisoned at. So right now I went into homemaker structures, fences, and junk fence, and they have all these super tall fences in there. So I end up smacking some of those in and really sinking them in the ground. And again, that's where the surface snap being on and off really comes into play. So here I'm playing a little bit with what do I do with this um, guard tower concept that I wanted to put in. Um, like I said, I think I'm going to end up changing that and using something else, but um, it was taking up too much space if I set it back into the wall, so set it back behind the wall. So what you're going to see that I do is I'm going to end up um, putting another wall in and tilting it to kind of look like it's supporting the structure. And it looks kind of cool at the end, you'll see. And we're going to end up doing some modifications to it because it's it, you'll, you'll see what's up. Um, so here I am just putting in more, more walls, doing more stuff. Um, and we're just going to go to the end. I'm going to speed it up really fast. It'll be a few more minutes. Put some music in. And then I'll give you a tour of what I have done so far. And we'll just we'll get this video put up for once. Maybe finally. I don't know. Probably not. Um, but yeah. What's up? So, here you go. This is the final, obviously, video tour of this section of the wall. We got a little bit done. It doesn't look like much, but oh my goodness, I face so much adversity outside of the game getting this little section put up. So, as you can see over here, we got another little minor wall put in with the fences, or door put in with the fences. And come through here, and this is going to be sectioned off into the main part of the, um, of the settlement. So, we're going to come back here. And honestly, I feel so dumb. It's not that much done, but it was so difficult just getting this stuff put up. I don't know why I got bit by the itis, um, and it was terrible just finishing this. So we got the fences up over here through this door, so that once they get in and start attacking this door, they're gonna get you know unholy hell rain on them from above. Well, there it is. There is part two of Starlight Build. 
finally, um, thank you for sticking with me, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully, everybody has a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate or don't celebrate. I hope December um, into January is a happy time for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll check you next time.